Oh, uh, I said no ice. Oh, you did? I'm so sorry about that. There you go. Enjoy. Nice. Noise, noise. Clearly this is staged, but uh, <gasps> the worker is fine. Oh, he is fine. Wow. Yeah, you could tell he did it for TikTok, you know? You know that whole thing where it was like, do it for the vine, I ain't gonna do it. They need one for TikTok. Do it for the talk, I ain't gonna do it. I just started it right there. You're welcome, people can use that. You're welcome, everybody. We got you on camera yesterday at Ralph's for $212. So just know that the cops are coming up here. They recorded your ass and everything. You took a copy of my car the other day on New Year's Day. You know what you did. Her face is Right, you know what you did, right? I'm so sorry. You're sorry about what? That you went to Ralph's? You took a copy of my card here while you said you were gonna go get receipt paper. And they got your ass on camera yesterday. She was kind of shocked to have even seen me pull up to that window. I don't think she ever knew that I was gonna get to the bottom of it. I'm sorry, ma'am, I'm sorry. So what are you sorry about, that you took money from me and my kid? Yo, I need to watch this full whatever it is. I need to watch this full thing. I am invested in this story. She took a copy of the card and then went on a shopping th spree at Ralph's. Ralph's of all places. Isn't that like a low budget target? I don't know, but at least you could have gotten, you know, you could have gone to Costco, gone to TV. I don't know. I am invested in this story. And after this, I'm gonna do, I wanna watch the full thing. Cause like, what happened? Why are my hands doing this? I don't know. Hey everyone, what's up? And oh, welcome back to the PGS channel on the internet. Peach. And today we are looking at people who got caught in the act at Starbucks. It's a juicy one, okay? So smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and comment something down below. Now we'll get on with the video. Yeah, have you, have you purchased anything in here, sir? Uh, no, but I was just about to go. You about to go purchase yeah. something? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. So, but before you made a purchase, they let you use the restroom, right? Uh, I just typed in, I asked for the code. You asked for the code and they just gave it to yeah. you, right? Before you made a purchase? Yeah. Okay, all right. Come on, let's go. Are you done? Were you about to get something? Well, I was gonna get food. Oh, you're gonna get food? Yeah. Okay, all right. So this is Weston. And Weston hadn't made a purchase yet, you guys. So uh, I would like Starbucks right here on Redondo, on Artesia, and Hawthorne. This man right here said he hasn't made. He said he hasn't made a, uh, a purchase yet. He's in line to make a purchase, and you guys haven't get. You guys, you guys had gave him the code, right? What's going on here? This guy wanted to use the bathroom. Oh, I guess it's you. You need to buy something to use the bathroom. That's Starbucks policies. I personally wouldn't want to like buy something and then take my sandwich and drink to the bathroom with me. But I think he's getting at the point that the guy filming was denied service um, or like denied the bathroom saying you got to purchase something first, but they let this guy, Weston, whatever his name was, Wesley, whatever his name was, they let him go to the bathroom first. So that's probably why he's filming. I'm back. This is what they gave me. I knew it wasn't right. Supposedly a mocha cappuccino. Disgusting. Probably wasted about an hour. An hour now at this point. Manager didn't even offer me a refund. A mocha cappuccino is not that. Okay. Is it a fra you want a frappuccino? No. I wanted a mocha cappuccino. I do want a frappuccino now. Yeah. yeah because I yeah, yeah. I know I can yeah. taste that right right while I'm here and yeah. not have to worry about yeah. it. Yeah, I got you. Here's your this is a ten dollar gift card for us. Then you want a mocha There you go. Uh, yeah, then I want my money back. So is this $10 for my experience and my gas, or? Bro, they gave you a $10 gift card. Chill out. Also, were those cigarettes in her cup holder? I was just looking at how filthy her cup holder is. She's calling the drink disgusting. Look at her car! It's filthy in there. And she's like, oh, this is disgusting. Disgusting, it's the wrong drink. Um, this is supposed to be hot. Oh, really? Sorry. The commitment for this video. The commitment. He literally has to go and clean that wall and the floor now. How are you gonna tell that to your boss? If like literally they're looking at the camera 
They're like, uh, Jason, so we saw you whip a drink against the wall yesterday. What was that about? How are you gonna explain that? Oh, I was doing it for a TikTok to go viral. <laughs> yeah, like your boss is gonna be like, oh, sick, sure, keep doing that. Looks so good on Starbucks. Now. I think we're on the vanilla ice latte. Oh, sorry, Um, I wanted this hot. Oh yeah, no problem. I'll get that right for ya. This is a weird trend. This is a really weird trend. People making drinks and then throwing them out just for a TikTok. Yo, people are weird. Like, it's kind of funny, I get it. But also, it's a waste of Starbucks. Hi, here's your grounding hot coffee. Thank you so much, have a great day. Okay, what about my bagel? I'm sorry? I ordered a bagel as well. Oh yeah, it's, it's coming right up. I just wanted to say have a nice day. Okay? Thanks, have a great day. Now I want a bagel, damn it. I really want a bagel now, like toasted with cream cheese. Anyways, um, this one was probably the worst one out of this trend. Also, I feel like Starbucks would comment on this and then everyone that got filmed in this video probably got fired. Like she literally has her name tag out on display so people could be like, yeah, this is so-and-so from this Starbucks location and then she could get fired. You know what I'm saying? Why do I feel like he's being dead serious and this is the one that started the trend? Like, why do I feel like he actually did this? Because the other customer was standing there watching like, did he really just scoop his hand in the drink? He looks like he's fed up with this woman. Um, also, little fun fact, I've only had Starbucks like once. I'm being serious and it's because somebody took me there and bought me a drink. I don't even know what it was some refresher I don't know I don't really get the hype I'm sorry here we have Tim Hortons and I like their tea and hot chocolate and their bagels and then you go to Starbucks oh I've had their oatmeal before I was trying to be healthy so I had their oatmeal disgusting they literally just poured hot water on oatmeal and it was like eight bucks it was absolutely disgusting Starbucks is overpriced and I don't really understand it you know I think people just hyped it up and it's not actually as good as people say it is Ooh, tea doing you I want your names Regina, who else is on staff right now? I'm the manager in charge right now. Regina, this yeah. is discrimination. Have you, are you aware of California 51A, Civil Section Codes 51A? It says you, we have the right to, to, eat, to shop anywhere we want, regardless of age, sexual orientation, race, or medical condition. Okay, and I understand that, but we have the right to refuse. You really don't. You're, you're, yes. you're abusing the law, and I will see you. You know what? Lennon lost his job. I'm Amber. And you know what? You guys are going to get sued. I didn't think I was going to sue you, but now I'm suing you. Yeah, you know what? I got $5,000 donated to me. This is all over the place. Amber, calm down. First of all, why wasn't she allowed to have service? Probably because she wasn't wearing a mask for a medical exemption. Okay, so she's a Karen. Um, she already sued another employee who lost their job or also or she made another employee lose their job. Um, and now somehow she got $5,000, $5,000 from the lawsuit. That's not really a win. Okay. Maybe 50,000 is a win. They were probably just like laughing at you and were like, just give her a chump change, you know? Um, and she's going to sue all of Starbucks for this. Nice one, Amber. Nice one. And in our number one spot today, let's see what we got. Stop. This one breaks.
breaks my heart because you can tell she's actually really upset and she's not freaking out she's like I don't know how to explain it you can tell she's just really distraught over the fact that she accidentally took the man's drink and you can tell she doesn't like confrontation so I can literally relate to her because I'm the same way and if somebody called me out for taking the wrong drink I think I would break down and start crying too oh my god I I'm getting emotional because I just relate to this woman you know I have been to the point where just everything bottles up and I'm like I didn't mean to man I'm all sad and I feel like I'm gonna cry Whew. out of all things that video got me all right guys that's all for today's video let me know in the comments below what your favorite starbucks drink is like when you go there what do you get because maybe i'll go there and i'll get your order and i'll see if it's good <laughs> if it's not then i'll come at you and be like why do you drink this crap i'm kidding i won't actually but like yeah i don't know what to order there so let me know in the comments below what's something good nothing too sugary okay i can't take it too sweet I'm already sweet enough. <laughs> With that being said, why don't you smash that like button, obviously. Subscribe to Peach. Be a peach. I've been your host, Lindsay Ivan, aka Peach. Stick around for some bloopers, and I'll see you when I see you. Bye. Stay peachy. Trying to see if I like the angle. Eh, good enough. <laughs> uh, dumbest people caught in the act at Starbucks. And today we are talking about no. Ooh, I can't get over that. Number five, three, two, one. Oh sh. Sorry, three, two, one.